Undeterred by the wind and rainy conditions, teams competing in the Falklands Games braved the elements to partake in the cycling time trials on Saturday morning. The approximately four-mile track traversed Stanley Airport, Lady Elizabeth and Boxer Bridge, and competitors were expected to complete the route in the fastest time possible. Tell me about your team. Are there a mix of cyclists, regular cyclists, new people who haven't cycled before? What's what's that? About? Yeah, there's um, so there's a couple of people that are a bit anxious about it. Um, some of them haven't tried the route at all, <laughs> so they're just going to go for it, see what happens. Um, a few of us did try the route, um, so we know what to expect. Um, so yeah, a real mix. But I think we've got a lot of strong people, so I think we're going to do well today. Are you sort of do you have any goals or any um, sort of targets that you're working towards today? Absolutely, to finish. To finish, yeah, I mean, going into the wind, it's a westerly wind today, so a uh, good, good, good half of the track is going into the wind, which is going to be good fun. So, yeah, no, for finishing would be definitely the, the thing to do. And are you a regular cyclist? Uh, not really. I did the triathlon last year with friends, so we did a fair bit of cycling training then, but we were very lucky on the day for the triathlon that it was really calm and warm and dry, so this is pretty much the opposite to that day. And how, what do you think is going to be able to kind of push you, keep you going today, do you think? I think uh, the idea of getting into the warm and dry and having a cup of tea afterwards is what's going to spur me on. Kind of how are you feeling about sort of the scoreboards at the minute? I think we're second at the moment, so the pressure's on for us to beat Aquila, because they're number one, so they're our rivals, so that's what we're going to go for. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. And as quick as the teams arrived, they were off, launching from the starting line. There were long uphill battles. Speedy sprints. And less speedy attempts. But after breaking a sweat on the tough track, efforts were finally rewarded as the cyclists made it across the long awaited finish line. It's very tough. Very tough on the gravel with the wind pushing towards you. Um, and yeah, it, it was fun also anyway, so it was good fun, yeah. What's been keeping you motivated? Uh, getting to the end ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Having a drink when we're finished. <laughs> and is this your first time doing the sort of cycling time trials? Yeah, absolutely. It's never done it before. Um, so, again, it, was, it is quite new. So, but again, I was just kind of relaxing, kind of enjoying it enjoying the moment and it was great to have a team and not just the team but everyone here that was supporting you on so that was great. The stamina has been good so I'm quite happy for that. I think I get I get a very good time so I'm, I'm happy with this. How, how's it gone this morning Jim? I think it's gone really well. Uh, four teams, uh, about 40 people riding, big big events, wind strong but it helped them on the last stretch. Uh, everyone was saying we were pushed along but really fast on the last stretch. I think everyone's enjoyed themselves really. Yeah, I mean, we've got a whole load of people, all different abilities, which has been really positive to see. How do you think everyone sort of fared in, you know, particularly with these conditions? I think we've done really well. Yeah, the, the faster riders had a fast time. Uh, the other guys got round, so they did themselves proud, really. It's not an easy place to ride here, particularly on a day like this, so uh, good for them. And after the cycling, there was still more to look forward to as the award ceremony took place later in the evening. But before the winning team was revealed, the male and females players player awards were presented. Complete surprise I'm winning the award. Absolutely. I mean there's so many talented, you know, athletes here. Um, and people who are far younger and quicker at me than me at everything. So yeah, no, it's really nice to be to be voted. So, the uh, male winners this year is Tom Hopper and Dan Johnson. Yeah, I just can't really quite believe it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it feels really great. Like, I absolutely love the games. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to walk away with um, something to put in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> and before the evening came to a close, the winning team of the Falkland Games was revealed. How do 
you feel just to be the winning team of all these games? <laughs> um, at the moment, very relieved. Um, yeah, really chuffed that we've managed to uh, to win for Aquila. Um, tomorrow morning, I think I'll be fairly sore. <laughs> There's quite a few people that are creaking a little bit at the moment. <laughs> and will you be looking to take part next year? Definitely, yeah. Congratulations to all of you. Brilliant, brilliant effort. And uh, it's great to see how much everybody's enjoyed themselves and how the teams have bonded together. And, uh, and sport has triumphed, as always, in, in these events. So a big, big round of applause for yourselves. And with that said, a big congratulations to everyone who took part. Let's hope for even more sporting fun in next year's Falkland Games.